My name is John Hansel, and I work as a diving safety officer for the New England Aquarium here in Boston, Mass., where I live. I would love to host a show on dangerous animal interactions because it's something that I do on a daily basis for work. I have a passion for adventure and I have a passion for trying new things. Um, I've actually written an action adventure novel called Out of Hell's Kitchen that I've used to um, apply experiences I've had in my real life to my fiction. Well, I've had a lot of experience in my 43 years uh, dealing with being outdoors, doing different adventures, everything from skydiving to being a bike courier in the city of Boston to uh, working as a diving safety officer here at the New England Aquarium where I do things such as wrangle sand tiger sharks to get them in and out of exhibits. I also uh, feed the animals, um, these sharks and stingrays and whatnot. I'm also into technical diving, which is a very deep type of, very technical type of scuba diving. It's pretty dangerous. It involves about 300 pounds of gear, um, lots of different types of exotic gases, decompression, things like that. I'm also uh, just someone who's been very cool under pressure, and uh, I think that I could pull all those experiences together to make a, uh, a great host for this show. I am very interested in surviving. It's one of the things I want to do with my life. Um, basically, I've spent a lot of time getting myself into situations that uh, are somewhat dangerous or things that are fairly unconventional. And learning how to deal with these situations uh, and handle them is something that, that I find to be uh, quite exciting, quite interesting, and it keeps my life from being boring. Well, I, I do work with wild animals on a daily basis here at the aquarium um, where I handle the sharks and the stingrays, as I said before. Um, I also have uh, uh, dealt with, with animals both uh, out in the field, like I've done porpoise releases um, from rescued porpoises to uh, diving with sharks in, in Hawaii with the, uh, the curator of the Maui Ocean Center out there. I could almost say that the most dangerous experience I've ever had was with my ex-wife, but I won't say that. Um, I would probably say it was an encounter I had with a uh, two-ton Trans Am. I don't know how much Trans Ams weigh, but it was heavier than me. I was running my motorcycle uh, to work one day and I was broadsided by this Trans Am and uh, basically crushed my left leg and I took four months to recover. Um, that was an exercise in survival right there, but I'm perfectly fine now and and I moved on to deal with other more exciting encounters. Well, how willing am I to get close to wild animals? Well, I think you could probably tell I'm, I'm pretty willing to get close to animals, uh, very close to animals. And with my job at the aquarium, uh, it's something that I'm very accustomed to doing. As far as approaching, or handling wild animal um, encounters, it's something that I, I through, my, through my, both my job experience and my interest in doing things like technical diving or skydiving, I've learned to approach things with caution and um, knowledge. And so I would approach these animals as something that I respect, uh, do it very carefully. One thing about me is I'm a risk taker, but I don't take foolish risks. So for instance, although I'm a skydiver, I would never go bungee jumping because there's no backup rubber band. If that sucker snaps, you're done for. With skydiving, you have a backup. So I approach that same kind of uh, wild animal encounters. I would use the same kind of approach, and I would, I would approach them with caution and respect, but also I would not be uh, somebody who is afraid to put myself into a situation that other people may consider more dangerous than they're comfortable with. One thing was I rode my mountain bike down into the construction of a called the Big Dig, or the Ted Williams Tunnel here in Boston. It's a big car tunnel that goes under the Boston Harbor. And as they were building it, I found the entrance to it, rode my mountain bike down into it. Of course, I flipped. It was about 3 in the morning, cracked my head open, uh, passed out, got a concussion, and had to scale a 15-foot chain link fence with a bloody head uh, to get back out. I probably would rethink that whole experience, but um, I caught the whole thing on video, so I was pretty happy with it in the long run. Well, some other people may not consider this being brave, but for me it was probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do, and that was to make the decision to put the, uh, the, the companion, my dog, of 11 years to sleep after she dealt with congestive heart failure uh, this past year. And it was something that it was very, very hard for me to do, um, was very, very painful, and took about every ounce of courage that I had, but I knew it was the best thing for her, and uh, so it was a decision I had to make. 
I think I would be a great host for the show because I am cool under pressure. I deal with um, wild animal interactions on a daily basis with my job from feeding 300 pound sand tiger sharks, barracudas, and stingrays to getting into just about every exhibit here at the aquarium. Um, and I, I definitely have uh, a lot of experience in my 43 years of just dealing with stressful situations. <laughs>